was 2001. I had just graduated from college. Y2K had happened, 9-11. I just knew that like a new chapter had just opened in my life and that anything could happen. Anything could happen. My brother said uh, he was having the best time of his life and that I should come out. I was on the first flight. I was looking for spirituality that wasn't rooted in religion. I fucking found it. I'd heard about these new possibility seminars and um, I was really interested. This was our little utopia. What people don't understand is that it, it, wasn't, it wasn't spiritual. It was a family. These were some of the most beautiful people I had ever encountered in my life. And they were living through their hearts. And it was the first time that I had really felt like I was a part of anything. Lemon. <laughs> <laughs> we were asked to invite our friends. And then they brought friends. And then they brought friends. He was the father I never had. You gotta understand, these, these were beautiful uh, attractive, successful people that you just wanted to be around. We wanted to be around. We wanted it. Some of the best times of my life, honestly. It was all because of this one man. Oh, he had hundreds of women. Some people followed the Rolling Stones, some people followed the Doors. We followed gold. Once you're that high, you know that eventually you have to come down, and that's the scary part. Gold started preparing us for this big abduction. The UFO takedown. We were surrounded by so much light, and then it was darkness. I didn't see my parents for 15 years. That's when things changed. It just got a little dark. We were encouraged to detach from our families. Oh, the rechanneling. I had sessions three, four times a day. I would even kill somebody if he asked me. It wasn't even about spirituality anymore. It was about staying alive. He pulled me close and he said, there is no God. There's only gold. I mean, what do you do when your god gets arrested? How do you pick up the pieces? I'm just braiding my friend's hair and then the fucking FBI shows up. It's like somebody came and stole all our happiness, all our dreams. You know, I remember this one time Gold came up to me and said, It's okay, Sabrina. We'll get you through this. And I made it. I did it. I made it.